OK, so uh, British football fans rejoice. Jeff Stelling is to return to broadcasting. He is to join TalkSport. Now, obviously, Laura Woods has uh, left TalkSport. She is to join uh, TNT Sports, formerly known as BT Sport, on their football uh, coverage. And, of course, Jeff Stelling, after many, many years, 25 years or so, obviously left Sky at the end of last season. And many, many sports fans, especially football fans, thought he had retired, and that was it. Um, he was he was meant to retire a year ago when Chris Kamara obviously had to stand down because of his health issues. He decided to go around for one more uh, football and Premier League season. Uh, but a lot has happened at Sky. A lot of changes in the presenter lineup, format, and programming. Obviously, soccer soccer AM is gone, which ran in parallel with uh, Soccer Saturday. It, had Soccer AM and then Soccer Saturday would start. Uh, but Jeff Stelling, uh, Hartlepool's most famous fan, um, has decided to carry on in the broadcasting game. Uh, how long he stays at TalkSport is up to him. He's obviously 68 now. Uh, he's, he's spent uh, the majority of his broadcasting career uh, with Sky. Uh, TalkSport is, is still owned by, in some way, by the Murdoch Group. Um, they were actually a sister... Uh, new uh, sister uh, network to Sky Sports um, until the Murdochs lost control of Beat Sky B. So it's it's a it's a pretty seamless transfer from Sky Sports over to Talksport. He will be hosting Mondays and Tuesdays breakfast show. Uh, Alan Brazil, Big Al will still be hosting the the rest of the the working week from Wednesday through to Friday. But Talksport, along with many other sports broadcasters, has gone through structural changes, lineup changes with presenters. And ownership changes as well. TalkSport has changed hands several times. Obviously, B-Sky B has now changed hands. is now owned by Comcast, which is American. Um, Premier Sports is now owned by Viaplay. So the BT Sports, now TNT Sports, with Warner Brothers Discovery having a massive stake. Uh, and, and, and eventually will be merging that with, with Eurosport, for example. So the sports media net, uh, uh, landscape in the UK has gone through a lot of changes uh, in the last few years, even before the COVID pandemic. But it's good to see Jeff Stelling has decided to continue his broadcasting career. Um, and I think it's a good move by TalkSport. The, 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 the radio network had been facing some criticism for some of its presenting uh, appointments and some of its lineup changes in its presenting. Um, uh, I mean, there's been a lot of criticism of some of the presenters uh, and, and the quality of presenting. Jeff Stelling, I think, brings that experience, knowledge and humour uh, he's got a wicked sense of humour. It is a shame, obviously, Chris Kamara uh, hasn't been able, obviously, to resume his broadcasting career with his health issues uh, because they were a brilliant duo. Uh, they really carried Soccer Saturday for many, many years. And obviously, without Chris Kamara over the last year or so because of health problems, it hasn't been the same, which is another reason, I think, why Jeff Stelling uh, was sort of decided to, to leave Sky. Um, but many of his co-hosts on Soccer Saturday, including like Matt Letizio, for example, left under some acrimonious circumstances. And uh, Jeff Stelling, I don't think, was overly happy with the structural changes uh, to the programming and the lineup changes. But it is good to see him remain in the sports media. It, obviously, the breakfast show isn't just football. Uh, talk sport it covers every sport you can think of if it's worth discussing so yes it'd be primarily football because and his knowledge on, on on the english and scottish leagues is second to none uh, but they also on the breakfast show do discuss other major sporting uh, topics and issues of the day uh, and he has a wealth of knowledge in all sports not not just football jeff stelling really is a a a, a sports nerds nerd he's a sports fans fan um and obviously he brings that enthusiasm and knowledge and humor uh, to the role. But there we go. He replaces Laura Woods. His contract begins in December and we'll have to see how he settles in at TalkSport. But I think that is very, very positive news. If you are a fan or a listener of TalkSport on the radio or if you follow TalkSport on YouTube, I think it's going to be refreshing to see him uh, and hear him on our airwaves again. And hopefully at some point, Chris Kamara may be well enough to get a guest slot on there alongside him. And I think that would be fantastic. But even so, uh, you know, Jeff Stelling, I think is a very, very good pickup by TalkSport. Um, and they have been criticised for some of their presenter lineup in recent years and some of the, the uh, changes they've made. But there we go. Thank you very much uh, for watching. Please place your thoughts in the comment section below and I'll have some more content for you very, very soon.